I, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a hobbyist. Uh, I'm just a small beekeeper. All these you see here, of course, you're only seeing a couple right now, but the five that are actually here on this little piece of, of, of land um, were not here this year. I mean, they're brand new this year. These are swarms that I've caught this year. However, um, I went into winter uh, last year at the other property uh, with seven hives, and I, and I lost four of them over the winter. They, they not because the colony collapsed, well, one of them seems to be from colony collapse because it died off just before we went into winter. With colony collapse disorder, what we see is the colony actually starting to collapse down. It starts getting smaller and smaller until finally there's just nothing left. And there's no remnants of dead bee carcasses laying around the hive. So like maybe they ingested something that just caused a bunch of them to die so you don't see that, you just see no signs of them. Because there is no single cause yet and we haven't found one single reason for what causing colony collapse disorder. But at least at this point there is a consensus that there are six or seven different stress factors that might be acting on the bees and they are kind of compromising the immune system of the honeybee. Then we did a survey in Oregon and we lost close to 25% of the bees. So we are doing a little bit better than the national figure but still losing 25% is not fun for any beekeeper because once you are losing at that pace, uh, I think in three years a commercial beekeeper would be out of business if they are losing at that bigger rate. Well, we've been in business uh, about 31 years and, and of course the, the vegetable seed uh, part of the business has really grown. Uh, so ever really since the late 70s, honeybees have been used on, on pollinating carrot fields. We have, with our 14 beekeepers, they will be bringing in close to 11,000 colonies of hives. Honeybees uh, are essential to the pollination of, hive, of the two parent lines of these carrots. And without the health of those bees and, and the health of the beekeeper in his operation, then we would have a, um, a deficient seed production area. The researchers are here today to uh, do some experimental work on how uh, the honeybees can be um, trained or manipulated or stimulated, whatever word you want to use, to actually um, enhance their, their uh, pollen gathering and, and foraging of the, of the carrots. I think they have queen, but the only thing is they're weak. So here you see the crop uh, is carrot seed. Uh, it's um, almost like three to three thousand five hundred acres of carrot seed is grown in Central Oregon, and uh, so they need bees, the honey bees, uh, basically for pollination. And uh, and some varieties are there in carrot which are not very attractive to bees, so especially honey bees. And so when the beekeepers are getting their bees here, we don't see that many bees getting onto the crop. So there are some varieties which the Growers are concerned that uh, the bees are not pollinating that well because they are not very attractive. So what we are trying to do is we have a pheromone called brood pheromone. It's a pheromone which is released by the larva of the honeybee. So we use that pheromone put inside the hive so that we can mimic more larva. So more larva that is means more babies inside the hive. So that's kind of a stimulation for the bees to get more food so they can forage more. That means literally you are increasing the pollination of the crop. So that's, that's the real experiment that we are trying to do here is trying to put this pheromone in and see if we can increase the pollination efficiency of the honeybees that are being used by carrot growers here in Central Oregon. So honeybees are very important pollinators. So I think uh, there is a lot of awareness after this colony collapse disorder came into the picture. And I think people understand that. And I would still suggest the, uh, the normal citizens to be uh, very much aware of honeybees and appreciate the services being provided by honeybees for the agriculture community and as a larger society to even a common citizen as well.